Tonight, a big 3-5A matchup as the Acadiana Reckon Rams headed a bit north to Karen Crow for this 3-5A district rival matchup. Karen Crow head coach Tony Corville looking on as the Bears start their first drive of the game. It's Chance Caesar and Chance finds Chance Babineau 45 yards later and the Bears are up 7 to nothing. The Rams respond on their first drive of the game. Quarterback Caden DeBedia scores on the keeper and ties the game at 7. Karen Crow comes back though. Their next possession. It's Caesar this time swinging it out to Casimir Batiste who scoots into the end zone. 14-7, Bears on top. Acadiana would score two more times in the first half. This one on a field goal attempt gone bad. Taven Lemaire calls fire, fire, scrambles, throws the touchdown pass to defensive tackle Dominic McKinley for the touchdown. And the Rams tie it at 14. They would take a 21-14 lead at the break. Your final 21-20. The Rams escape the Crow Dome with a one-point victory. It was senior night at Wildcat Stadium as Abbeville hosted St. Martinville. The Tigers struck first. Quarterback Caden Zenon hands the ball to Steven Blanco, and he walked into the end zone for the early lead. The scoring did not stop there as the Tigers got the ball back, marched down the field again. Zenon this time for the easy one-yard touchdown. Abbeville and the Wildcats did not go easy. Quarterback Taj Judge Throws the 11 yard touchdown pass to Jason Shelvin, but in the end, too much. St. Martinville 42 19 over Abbeville. Eunice hosting Leesville first quarter. It's Parker Marks keeping it and taking it all the way in for the touchdown. And the Bobcats on offense looking good. Quarterback Josh Brown, he'd be sacked here by a host of Wampus Cats. Eunice goes on to win 38 33. Erath went to Crowley to face the Gents. Second quarter, it's 22 6. Erath. Austin Abair gets the pass and gets the six. Crowley looking for the, some points before half. Nate Touchet gets the interception, but the Bobcats get the win 39 28. Your final. Senior night in Grand Lake taking on the Notre Dame Pioneers. It didn't take long for the Pios to find the end zone on their first possession. How about quarterback Aiden Mouton reading the field? Checking it out, seeing that Grady Falk is open, throws it to Falk, and Falk is up the sideline, 7 nothing Pioneers. Notre Dame driving again. This time, it's number 7, Jake Bruyette. He gets into the end zone. That's another touchdown, 14 nothing Pioneers. Luke Laverne would then score to make it 21 to nothing, and then Laverne again to make it 28 to nothing. The Pioneers go on to win big by the final score of 45 to 7. Lorville taking on Catholic High New Iberia down in the very first quarter. Benoit drops back and throws this pass to Layden Lanco for a touchdown. Panthers would kick in a field goal. That's for three points. But the Tigers' next possession, Jaden Mitchell intercepts the ball, dodges a few tacklers, sets up Catholic for a first and goal. How about Luke Landry trying to connect here with Chris Green for a Catholic touchdown? They do it, go up 10-7. Lorville would pull ahead later in the second half and win it tonight in a close one, 20 to 17. Over in Youngsville, Delcom versus AES. Start of the fourth quarter, uh, being a Christian school showing some mercy. Blue Gators put in their second string, leading 42 to 7. Garrett Yeats gets the handoff, fights for the touchdown, the first down that is. Panthers would put up a fight. But deny the Gators another end zone entry. Cole Pesson, the kicker, would add three points to the score. Ascension wins big, 45 to 7. Opelousa's Catholic and Sacred Heart from Donald Gardner. Uh, Trojans quarterback Hayden Drotty finds Gabe Wilmoth, who picks up speed and Gets the first down. A nice run there. That would set up Drotty a couple plays later as he keeps it on the wiggle into the end zone for six. Sacred Heart has the lead. Vikings quarterback Mike, oh, I checked that, Mark Collins keeping uh, this one in, taking it himself in for six. Check the score in this one 34 to six. OC over Sacred Heart. Blue Jays of St. Edmunds taking on Westminster in Opelousas. We're tied at 14 at the half. Take the third, take it to the third. How about Kane West handing it off to Henry Sumlin, who takes it in for six on the Blue Jays' next possession. West uh, finds Taylor Dare, 
who dodges and tackles and runs for a huge gain, but on fourth down, St. Ed unable to, to uh, find the end zone. In the end, St. Ed's, they get the win. They're having a good little year up there in, in Eunice, 32-14.